Boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. That's right, I'm back and I'm trying to keep up with my whole thing because it's the Alberta Beer Fest this weekend and I haven't gone. But I did buy a lot of beer so I thought I might as well just give some more a shot. Now this is one of those beers where you look at the label and you go, you have to buy it. No matter what, it is one of those ones where you have to just indulge yourself, even if the price is $7 a fucking can. Not kidding, it's not cheap. So what beer are we talking about today? From Against the Grain Brewing, we are talking about the Brown Note. That's right, I am not kidding, and this is probably gonna get me censored as shit on YouTube. Shit, you know. Anyways, the label reads, oh the shame. This is, this is the brown ale to end all brown ales. Enjoy it, because there's no longer any reason to drink another brown ale. You've reached the pinnacle, the disco bump, the brown note. Drink this beer or shit yourself trying. <laughs> Uh-oh. Comes at 5% and um, 48 degrees drink from this, the, the can. Why would I want to drink from the can? I want to see what I'm drinking. You, you have a label like this and you're going to tell me to drink from the can? Nuh-uh. That's going in a glass. That is seriously going in a glass right fucking there. Let's get it open. Yep, that's brown. That be brown. All right, well, we've got a very muddy brown looking beer. Uh, the head retention's on there is quite nice. And it's not exactly, well, it, there's some translucency to there. So it's got some definite good qualities there. The smell doesn't smell like shit, so we're off to a good start. Actually, that does have an interesting woody note to it. Nutty note. Nutty. Well, at least it doesn't smell like an O. Henry bar. You know I'm going to go with the bad puns on this. Come on now. All right. Well, actually, that's got a very nice smell to it. And I'm not as afraid as I am as I was looking at the label. Let's get into it. Cheers. Wow, that's actually really damn good. Um, it does have that, uh, that, that, that nutty note you sort of do have, sort of a, how can I explain it properly? I would, it's not peanuts, that's for damn sure. Uh, it's, it's actually got a very good roasted malt note behind it. Um, there's a bitter back note that hits the cheeks and there's also a little bit of a sweetness in there to round it all out. For a 5% beer, this is actually quite crushable. I'm quite impressed with it. I thought I'd be offended by this. I thought I'd be afraid of this. And I thought they might have just poured some toilet water in here just with the label itself. However, that's not the case. Um, I've had Against the Grain before, and they've actually had some decent stuff. This is a really solid brown ale. It's actually quite nice, quite delightful, and it is a beautiful beer. And the lacing on that glass, that is just almost perfect, if you ask me. Well, folks, have you had this one before? Did you pick it up just because of the label, or did you like against the grain stuff? Let me know what you think in the comments below. You know what to do. Anyways, until next time, folks, I am PK saying cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon, and it's not shit. I'm glad it's not shit. Cheers.